Hi everybody, it's April 19, 2017. Why do I hammer home on this issue with these frequencies? Because they are stripping people of their free will. I posted a video a couple of days ago, what's going on with Americans, and my belief that these microwave frequencies that we are saturated in are controlling human beings. And it is the reason why we are seeing and experiencing, apparently, based on all of the comments that I got underneath that video, the madness, the idiocy. And I'm starting this video on yet another example of this idiocy that seems to be exploding nationwide every single day. Uh, governor LePage is the governor of Maine. And he went to a town hall meeting at the University of Southern Maine. And that meeting was brought down with these social justice warriors screaming, Black Lives Matter. Look how white she is. Black Lives Matter. Look at the rage. Black Lives Matter in Maine. Maine is probably the whitest state in our union. I think it's 94% white. And the black population is 0 0.6. But she has to disrupt a meeting that her governor is leading on the economy. But no, black lives matter. And then when LePage said all lives matter, more rage. So that meeting was brought down and we are seeing that all over the country. Politicians showing up at these town hall meetings, disrupting the meeting. Um, now, if these young people were disrupting these meetings, wanting to get rid of government, that would be great. I would be right by them, but they are making no sense whatsoever. We didn't see protesters like this before. They are being controlled. And it's not just the indoctrination of our education system. It is absolutely the frequencies that they are using as a weapon to control the American people. I'm going to link below to this paper, 33 pages, well worth your time to read it because it gives you a tremendous amount of information that is critical to understanding what is going on and how many Americans are unfortunately controlled. Um, and I want to thank the subscriber who left this link underneath that video that I posted a couple of days ago. But when I was reading this paper and came across some information, I thought, oh, Jesus, this has to do with 5G. And that's what this video is about. 5G, Internet of Things, Agenda 2030, Vision 2050, and how it is the end game to finally getting a scientific dictatorship to control every aspect of our life, every object on the planet. But 5G. 5G are using millimeter waves. And I guess that's the high end of microwave frequencies. Millimeter wave scanning can allow them to see small objects in your home, even you, very clearly. Now, many will say, hey, the police have been using these scanners to, you know, um, these frequencies that go through walls and they can see inside people's homes. They can't see very clearly with those scanners. With the millimeter wave, it's high definition. So, when 5G finally gets rolled out and we're using 5G, all those people who are so excited because it's going to be so fast and they can download a video and watch it on their smartphones or on their home without any interference. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. They can see everything that you are doing in your home. They can see every object. But these millimeter waves, they don't just go through walls. They go through skulls and it will give them more efficient frequencies to read your mind or induce thoughts into your mind that you'll think are your own. Now, this 5G millimeter wave allows them a high bandwidth digital data transmission, which I will get to in a second. 
but what else can it do? It can pick up metallic and plastic concealed handguns. They call it remote frisking. We don't need the police anymore to frisk, to do that stop and frisk. They'll have these millimeter waves that when you walk past that antenna will record what you're carrying and if it's a plastic gun they will see it they will record it and they will store it people do not understand how dangerous the implications of 5g are so incredibly dangerous and they're just not getting it um i do want to point out what a uh, lieutenant colonel of the taiwan national defense department stated about one particular device that the United Nations had developed, this mind control machine. And we distributed it to our allied countries. What did he have to say about that? He said it poses a great threat to human rights and a great threat to the American way of life. And that is what we are living today. I saw an article a couple of days ago where UC Davis, uh, the University of California at Davis, they were making the American flag optional. A lot of these social justice warriors are really just the useful idiots to bring in Marxism, communism into the United States. But it will be a communism on steroids with all of this technology that we have Yes, the millimeter wave will maximize 5G wireless. The millimeter wave will be the technological control grid. It will be that scientific dictatorship. You have to see how all of this is connected. Do not think about anything in isolation. So when they're talking about the 5G and how wonderful it's going to be, for all of us, because our computers are going to be so much faster, you also have to think about the dark, hidden agenda behind the 5G. It will make surveillance uh, more dangerous. But this connectivity of the Internet of all things, David Petraeus, our former CIA, said our dishwashers will be spying on us. Everything will be connected. That's why they're rolling it out so fast. That's why this guy said, our FCC chairman then at this press conference said, we're not going to study it. We're not going to regulate it. We're just rolling it out. Because they want to bring in the end game where they will have complete control over all of us. And it doesn't matter who the FCC chairman is. Doesn't matter that we have a new FCC chairman. They're still rolling it out. And in fact, many communities who are trying to stop the 5G rollout are finding themselves powerless. Why? Because the telecommunications industry have been given all power by Congress to roll it out. You know, what upsets me when I read these articles, I just think to myself, how many Americans even know that we don't live in a democracy? We live in a constitutional republic. You know, in the early 90s, I heard our quote unquote leaders, our politicians refer to the United States as a democracy. That's all we were hearing. It's a democracy. It's a democracy. And I kept thinking to myself, why do we just keep hearing democracy? And what the hell does that mean anyway? It was the social engineering of the Americans to make them forget that we live in a constitutional republic. That is what our founders created. Benjamin Franklin, when asked by a woman, so what kind of government did you give us, sir? And he said, a constitutional republic. If you can keep it, we didn't keep it. It's gone. And any American who thinks that we still have a constitution that's operational, that, that they actually enforce, anybody who believes that we live in a constitutional republic is living in a delusion. It's all gone. Congress handed over 
all power to corporations. And when corporations and government merge, you live in a fascist society. You don't live in a democracy and you don't live in a constitutional republic. And that constitutional republic that was created for Americans, every state had its own independent sovereign power. The federal government was limited in their powers. Now the federal government has central power. And when you centralize power, you, you are walking yourself right into tyranny. Very upsetting. And unfortunately, you know, there's an awful lot of people who are trying to fight this and they just can't because their representatives in Congress screwed them by giving the telecommunications industry all power. So this 5G network, um, you know, I showed the antennas, what they look like. They're not the big panels on cell phone towers high up. These antennas are smaller, low to the ground, and the infrastructure that they're rolling out for the 5G, it's intensive. There will be antennas all over the place. You will have antennas right outside your home. You will be walking by these antennas, which are emitting incredibly dangerous radiation. Here's Dr. Deborah Davis, who posted a video on YouTube talking about the dangers of 5G. And she talks about how our sweat ducts are antennas for the millimeter waves of 5G. So these antennas will be all over the place, low to the ground. You'll be walking down the street and an antenna will emit a dangerous wave with high levels of radiation that your body will absorb. Um, and I, I, well, it's, it's incredibly dangerous. Trillions of sensors have already flooded the world. Smart dust. This article, 2010, smart dust, a trillion sensors scattered all over the globe. Why? Because the millimeter wave will connect them all. That's the internet of things. We've got trillions of sensors already, and it's all for that big data. We've got supercomputers, they've got quantum computers. They have computers so fast that they can read all of these sensors in real time. So, well, if you are uh, concealing a plastic gun or a, a gun, the antenna that they're putting up that's emitting these millimeter waves will record that gun. The smart dust that we may be inhaling, that they may be spraying, down the spraying the geoengineering of the skies they probably have been spraying this smart dust or neural dust those terms are interchangeable and who's got control over that neural dust but darpa the scariest dr strange love frankenstein agency we've got going in the department of defense neural dust enables precise wireless recording of nerve activity We've seen the patents where they can use these frequencies that we're already saturated in to control our central nervous system, to make us feel anxious or depressed or affect the uh, physiology that we have. The neural dust, the smart dust, Berkeley came up with this neural dust. Berkeley engineers have created the first dust sized sensor that can be implanted in the human body well they write implanted but it can also be inhaled nano sized sand sized sensors and our higher institutions anybody who believes that they're free that this higher learning that we have is independent of our military industrial complex is also living a delusion 
Berkeley in particular is probably the number one higher learning center that we have. But it's not about higher learning. It is a research arm of our military industrial complex. And we've seen these articles dating back even earlier than 2010. This one last year, wireless neural dust could monitor your brain. Wow. Sensors that we may be inhaling that penetrate the blood brain barrier that these miller, miller meter waves can affect. I, CNN even told the American people in 2010, smart dust aims to monitor everything. And when you see the monitoring of everything, you've got to think Agenda 21, 2030, Vision 2050, what the United Nations is doing to enslave the planet. Um, and that's what, that's why they're moving um, out 5G so rapidly. And it's not only the United States, China is also rolling it out really quickly, but it is the latest in mind manipulation technology, neural smart dust. The uh, company that has been flooding our world with these sensors, billions, a trillion sensors, Hewlett Packard. Sensors everywhere. They can spray, to give you an example, they can spray dust on a dollar bill. And that sensor will stay on that dollar bill and they can track that dollar bill everywhere it goes. Sensors will be everywhere. They will be on the street. They will be in your homes. They will be in your body. They will be on every object, every product that you buy. They will, ma they will um, monitor traffic flow. There will be motion detections, detectors. They will be monitoring everything that goes on in smart cities, smart meters, smart appliances, smart thermostat, thermostats. I don't, I don't see very many people really considering how dangerous are the implications of this technology. But all right, healthcare. So when everything is connected and they do have these computers to monitor and record and store everything in real time. Wow. Okay. So you go into a supermarket and buy donuts and you're not even buying them for yourself. A neighbor asked you, uh, you know, to pick them up as a favor. So you do. But your health insurance provider has all of your data and you have uh, heart problems. You buy donuts. Your health insurance company now has that information that you bought donuts. So they call you the next day and they tell you, hmm, you've got heart disease. You bought donuts. That's bad for your heart, so we're going to increase your premiums. Do not think that that's not going to happen. They do want to enslave every, every person on the planet. They will be able to see in your homes. Think about 1984. You know, the TV screen in people's homes where they were able to monitor everything that went on in somebody's apartment. This is what we are talking about with 5G and the Internet of Things. So, yes, I do think that it's very, very important. We've got the IEEE, the Institute of um, Electrical and Electronics Engineers, working for the United Nations. They have a Internet of Things initiative. They are helping to implement it for the United Nations. Here on the IEEE's page is, it's all about the Internet of things and Agenda 2030. If you don't know anything about Agenda 2030, click on the link below. This gives you a pretty good synopsis of what the United Nations is implementing. And wow, don't they dress it in really cozy 
kumbaya language where everybody goes, wow, this is great. They're going to eradicate poverty and hunger. They're going to achieve universal primary education, common core. Not just in the United States, they want it rolled out all over the world to indoctrinate the young into just being robots for the elite. To just be these um, zombies who can't critically think and they're being groomed for particular uh, meaningless work for the elites. If you do the research, you will find that what I am saying is true. But it's about promoting gender equality and empowering women, uh, reducing child mortality. Who could possibly say no to that? To ensure environmental sustainability. Wow, so if everybody believes in this climate change uh, agenda, well, they're freaking out and they want the environment to sustain so that life can go on. They'll be, yeah. Let's do it. I'll give away my freedom. You can have the sovereignty of my nations, United Nations, United Nations, because you're bringing in something wonderful. It is so sad that an awful lot of people do not understand what really is being talked about here. Um, so I just lost my page and I'm not doing this over. Um, here we go. But it also just outlines all of the goals for you. But it also states right here, the Internet of Things will undoubtedly play a major role in achieving many of the sustainable development goals of Agenda 2030. It's all about globalism, it's all about tyranny, it's all about technocracy, it's all about a scientific dictatorship. And once they have rolled out 5G, we're lost in the woods, guys. So when you think about uh, 5G, these millimeter waves that can actually see through the walls of your home, they can pick up metallic or plastic concealed handguns. We all know that the United Nations wants to confiscate all guns from everybody on the planet. When somebody knocks at your door and you open it and they ask for your guns and you lie and say you don't have them, they know you do. With 5G, with the high definition surveillance, with these millimeter waves being able to penetrate walls, they will know everything in your home. So don't lie. There's no hiding anymore. Unfortunately, they have been using this technology for a while, but once 5G comes in, you won't be able to hide you won't be able to hide anything that you have in your home. And life as you know it will never be the same again. Please circulate this information. You don't have to circulate my video. I'm not promoting my video. I am asking you to circulate the information below. Unfortunately, we do have a population, the majority of whom are already controlled by the microwave frequencies that they have already been using against us. And if you read this paper, you will see how minds are being controlled already. But I, you know, I think about the younger generation. Many of us who are older now won't live to face the consequences of this incredibly dark world that is being created. But when you see people like this, you know, who are, who are young, sorry, um, out there clearly being 
controlled by frequencies. Clearly not having a brain anymore that can critically think and embarrassing themselves, the social justice warriors. It's this generation and those who are younger than this woman who will live enslaved. And I do believe that it is our responsibility to leave the world a better place. And unfortunately, we have an awful lot of adults my age, older, a little bit younger, who are really not doing anything. We have the willfully ignorant who still refuse to have, you know, adult conversations. They just want to live their self-centered, selfish, blissful life. Or we have these new agers who believe that, well, you create your own reality and I'm not bringing any negative stuff into my reality. These are the people who are creating a collective reality that is incredibly dark. These are the people who are creating our reality with our freedom being stripped. And yes, I am angry at them. And then we have the Christians who sit back because they believe that God is going to come and, and uh, destroy evil and suddenly the world is just going to be turning good. Or sitting back believing that Jesus is going to come and scoop them up into heaven. And they sit back or they believe that all of this has been prophesied and so they're just watching evil unfold. All of these people just sitting back doing nothing. It's not just those who are asleep. It's also a lot of people in the awake crowd. And yes, we need millions of people. Do I think there's any hope of that? I don't. Can I stop doing what I'm doing? No, because we are at war. And I guess you just don't stop until the fat lady sings. So, all the links are below. Have a great day, guys.